In my previous video, I stated that I will be creating a video on how to do graphic design with CapCut. And in this video today, we are going to go into it. I'll cover three different projects in this video tutorial. And that is how to create YouTube thumbnail, how to create Instagram post design, and thirdly is how you can create flyer with CapCut. So let's get right into it. There are some ways through which you can obtain CapCut. One is that you can use CapCut as a mobile on your iPhone or on your Android device. Okay, so get to the App Store or Play Store and get that installed. Another way you can get CapCut is by installing it on your PC, just like as I have here. I can get to the Microsoft Store and then search for CapCut and then install it on my PC. Okay, so if I search for CapCut here, it will show up in the search results and I will install it. So all you need is just click on the name CapCut. As it opens this page, you will see install button here or get. Just click on that and get it installed on your PC. All right, the same applies in Mac. But here I've installed it already and that's why it has this text installed. All right. Then the next way you can get CapCut is through the web. You can decide, I don't want to install it on my PC. I don't want to install it on my Mac. I don't have space. I want to access it through the web. And that is what we are going to focus in this tutorial. So we are going to use this application on the web. Okay, so let's get into it. So open your browser here we're using Google Chrome. Okay, so that's what I'm using for the station. As your web browser opens, search for CapCut, all right? This shows up in the search results. The first one, which is CapCut, that has the website CapCut.com, is what you are interested in. So click on the first link. A new page like this will open from your end, okay? If you have not signed up on CapCut, you will see a button encouraging you to sign up before you start using it, okay? So you need to do what? Sign up and start using it. Just enter your details, tell them what you want to use CapCut for, and you're good to go. But here, I have signed up and I'm being signed in automatically because I have been using this on the web, all right? So that's why we have this interface. This interface you're seeing right now is what you call the start screen, okay? By this here, you can see video is chosen by default. That's why you have this selected as well. Because originally, CapCut is a video editor. But they added the feature for you to edit image with it recently, okay? So if you want, you can click here and select the option for image, all right? So that is the option for graphics editing. Then let's come down to this section and say, what can we help you create today? Start with a blank slate ready templates or some ai magic you choose our interest here is on graphics design so we need to switch so click here in this section click on image good as you click on image is done to this uh, platform that our interest is on image you can see recommended is choosing as a category we have new image which allows you to start from scratch all right, and create what you want to create. We have Instagram posts, we have Instagram story, we have YouTube thumbnail, we have TikTok, we have Facebook. Here we're going to cover some selected aspects. We're going to learn how you can create YouTube thumbnail. We will learn how you can create Instagram post design, and you will learn how to create flyer. These are the three areas we're going to be measuring. So we'll be taking the one after the other then down here you can see some um trending designs you can choose from and explore then other down here is there are still um some templates you can choose and then modify to suit what you want to do all right then let's look at here you can search for a specific template you need for your design so for example i don't see anything like youtube thumbnail here you can click here inside the search box and search for type YouTube time thumbnail and press the enter key of your computer keyboard. It will bring some results for you. So select one and I did simple. I want us to start with YouTube thumbnail. So let's select this. 
that is the first project we'll be doing here. All right, so this opens template section automatically when we selected the YouTube thumbnail option. And here we have some categories here. We have most popular, we have product display, and we have these other ones we can choose. All these are just YouTube thumbnail templates. So you can click on any and it will appear here. Then you edit what you want. In my channel, I discuss more on technology. Okay, I discuss more of technology. That's what I do in my YouTube channel. So that is what we'll be focusing here. But before then, let's look at some of these tabs here. This, this is design, which allows you to choose some designs. So we have upload, which allows you to upload a picture of yourself or any picture you want to use for this for your graphics design project. We have text, which allows you to assign text here. So if we click on text now, you will see some options here. You can see add a title. So if you want to create a title in your design, just drag and drop, okay? Or a subtitle, drag and drop. Or add body text, drag and drop, all right? It's simple. Or if you want to use any of these design, just click on them. So shapes contain some shapes you can use for your design. So when you click on shapes, you see some shapes you can drag and drop or click for it to appear here. All right, take for example, I want to use an arrow shape. I can click here and it will appear on this design. All right, so let me undo that. So I'll click here for it to go. Then we have photos, which allows you to choose any photo of your choice from here to create your design. So let me click on that. You can see recently used. And down here, you see a lot of photos you can choose. If you want to search for a specific photo, click inside this box and then search a photo of your choice. Then this is stickers. When you click on that, you can see some stickers you can use. Select any of these or group and pick one of your choice and to be added in your design. We have frames, which allows you to add frames, okay? We have collage, which allows you to add different photos or pictures in different frames, but at the end, they make up one unit, okay? So we have some other options, brand kits, we have plugins, anything you want to use, they have all the tools for you, all right? So let's get back to where we are dropped at the beginning. So that is the template. So click on templates. Now, as a person that discusses technology, so I will search for technology templates, okay? YouTube templates, I'll click here and search technology. After typing the name, press the enter key of your computer keyboard for it to search. Okay, so this brings up some technology YouTube templates I can choose from, okay? But I like this. So let's say I want to talk about mouse, all right? So I'll click here and you can see this template has replaced this. Okay, so we are now on the editor section. All right, so maybe I want to title this, maybe the title of my YouTube a video that I want to publish that makes me to be creating this is how to use mouse. Are you getting it? So I can come here, remove some things I don't want to have. So I'll click here. Once it is selected, I'll click these three dots and select delete. Or with that, you can click on what you want to remove and press the backspace key of your computer keyboard to go. Likewise, this line, I don't think I need it, but it's okay. Let's just work on other things. So now let's start editing this text. For you to edit the text, double click, all right? So this one is selected, or you can click again inside that and place the text you want to have, okay? So it's not good to have a lot of text in your thumbnail. All right, so that it will be easy for viewers to capture. So let's say here I want to say use. That is the first word I want to have here. So I have all in capital letter. Then I want to have it as use mouse. Okay, so once you see that, I know that this is how to use a mouse. So I will delete this gaming. I don't need it. Okay, so I'm okay like this. So I can decide to drag this here and to be able to delete this line. I'll click on this line bar space key for it to go so i will drag this up okay so once you select the text box this automatically opens so you can increase your size here change font and so many other things so let me increase this size to maybe 100 after typing the value enter key okay so you can then drag this text box okay so i have used here i'm done that so this mouse I'm okay with it. I don't need to change anything in the world, but I will increase the font size. All right. So here I've selected it and um, the text size, what will I use here? Let's call it, let's say 88. Press the enter key. All right. 
Oh, I think it's too much. So let's go with 80. Enter key. Then I can then adjust this. You can see how my arrow has changed sign. Once you can see how my mouse have changed sign. So once it changes the sign, drag. Okay. Until you get what you want. Okay. It has contained all the words. Okay. I can then click out and then click on it again and drag it to a position of my choice. Good. Use mouse. Simple thumbnail. All right. Then I like this. Everything here is okay. It's perfect. So I can decide to download this here. But if maybe I want to add extra text, I can come here and then scroll up and then add title or add any subtitle. Once I click this, it will appear here or drag and drop. But that's by the way. Or maybe I want to add this love it. That means you love the use of mouse. I can click here. It will appear here. So now I'll drag it and keep it where I want to have it. All right. Use mouse. Love it. Good. Okay, so just another feature or another uh, design. So it's okay. Now that we are done with this, I want to download it. But before then, if you want to add an additional photo, maybe you have a photo of yourself you want to add here. It's simple to do. Just click on Upload. Then select the Upload tab. Okay, you are giving some options. So select from this device. Then this opens the file explorer of your pc now you get to where you save the photo okay so i have pictures folder here so i'll click on that then i have a subfolder i created that i have it as my pictures so i'll double click here for it to open i want to use any of these okay so this one is cool so i'll click on that and click on open okay so that is how you introduce a photo into CapCut. all right so hold on for it to be downloaded fully into the platform. Now it has been downloaded fully. So I can click on that for it to be added. On the other hand, you may like to change the background color of your design. Okay. Here I like this background color. But in your own case, as you're designing, if you want to change the background color, just take your cursor to a place that allows you to select the entire design. As you can see, there is a kind of... um green color or blue color design okay blue color rectangle around this design that means at this point you can click for it to be selected for the entire design to be selected so i'll click so as it's selected now you can change the background and for you to change the background click on this background um, tab here once you click on that you see some colors so choose any one you want okay if i choose green it will be applied so choose a background that you know that will match other elements in the design okay so don't choose a color that will conflict with the other elements in the design instead of running to problem you better leave it with the default background okay so now i've applied this background i'll close this but i think i love the initial background color so Look at the undo and the redo button. So the undo button allows you to go back to where you were before. So I'll click on undo. I'm okay. All right. If I like, I'll click on it again. Okay. This is the initial background. So with this, let's now title this design and save. So I'll click here. I can call it tech tomb. Okay. Just give it any name of your choice. After that, click out. And then click on download all okay you are giving some two options you have download you have copy as png we don't want to copy okay you have the option to share to facebook or share to instagram but here i want to download it so click on download so give it time for it to download fully into your pc okay you can see this has been downloaded into our pc so let's go and check it out so for you to see your design just click on your file explorer as the file explorer opens click on downloads because that's the default folder where the designs are being downloaded okay so look at it here tech term so double click for it to open fully okay so i can maximize and we have a great design so that's how it looks like and it's lovely all right so let's get to project number two which is instagram post Okay, so we are about starting the project number two, which is Instagram post. So by default, as we land on the page, we are placed on the video section. So click on image. 
Okay, so this shows up some templates we can use to create the Instagram post. But there is one I saw here, so I like this. So click on that. Now, select the option, use this template. Okay, so this opens a page like this fully and we can make some edits we need. You can see fried chicken. So let's say I run um, something like a restaurant where I sell fried chicken, all right? So this type of fried chicken is fine, So, but I can give it a little twist. So I'll click on this text for it to be selected. Then I can change the font size because I want to add another text on top, all right? So then let's say let me call this let's say font size of 40 then press the enter key good now i want to call this um g tech fried chicken all right good that's never the business so we then drag this down okay so i can change this else so that it will be kind of smaller let me call this let's give it 30 font size of 30 press the enter key for it to be applied all right so i can drag it up a little good okay i don't want it to cut into the chicken i want the difference to be there okay i can adjust this a little bit up I can adjust this again so you select the test by clicking on it first then you drag up all right good now i want to add a name g tech here so Let's now go and add text. So click on the test tab. Then once you click on the test tab, then you can select a design of your choice. So let me work with this. I'll click on this. Then I can double click and change the name to G Tech. All right. G Tech. Good. Because now I own a restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> so now that this is selected, you can see this rotating arrow here. So I will rotate it okay good then I can then click out again then click on it on the text box and then take it to this side okay so it's a cool design okay so you can see any person that comes here know that this is GTEC fried chicken not just fried chicken alone because this is owned by GTEC then we come here we can leave this crispy fried chicken glazed in a sticky and spicy sauce okay so you can just change it to your own test then other now is fine then this capcut.com we don't need it because this is not longer because this is no longer owned by capcut so i'll click there and then press the backspace key of my computer keyboard it is gone then the price you can alter this price or you can take it down price is okay but this dollar Let's bring our own down to four dollars because we're just starting out. Okay, so then I will type for this is four dollars. It's okay, uh, so that people will come more and buy from us. So everything. Let's assume that we are done with the design and everything is okay. Now it's time for us to download this. If you have your own picture, you can change it. Okay, you can click on this and then press the backspace key for it to be removed. Then click on upload. Get to your PC and upload your own picture. It's simple once it's here drag and drop all right so but it's okay i like the design i like the picture they have here so now let's give it a title okay i will say fried chicken okay so i've clicked here for it to be selected the text then type the name then click out okay now g tech fried chicken design is ready okay so now let's download it into our pc so click on download all on this next page click on download and we're good. So this is now available in our PC. If you get to the downloads folder, you will see the design. So click out here. So let's get to the next design, which is Flyer. That is the last project we are going to do here. So click on this um, CapCut logo to get to the home. Okay. As we are on the home, as usual, we have this interface. Then click on Image. This has switched to emails, telling the system that you want to create graphics. We need graphics design here. All right. Then flyer is what we need. But I don't think we have anyone named flyer here. Do we? Even if we do have, 
let's go and search it so click on this search area and then type the word flyer press the enter key of your computer keyboard for it to search wow so this has given us enough a lot of design we can go with okay this one says thanksgiving sunday 15 november we have this we have this we have this so let's go with this i'll click on this okay so this is thanksgiving flying invitation click on this option use this template so it's time for us to make the changes we need your club presents okay so i can double click on this text and change the content double click backspace and then change the content let's say gtech presents that's godwin tech okay then this image because it's my thanksgiving i have to change it okay so i have selected it i can click here and then select the delete option i don't need to duplicate though if you want to duplicate it go with this option but it's not necessary here so i'll click on delete now that this image is deleted let me go and bring in my own image so i'll click on upload then select from this pc all right then i'll select a picture of mine open now that this image is added click here it's placed here so you can drag it up then by the side here reduce the size you can just take your cursor here for it to change to this sign and then you cut all right so i don't want my hand to show my full hand then you drag up okay so you can drag sideways you can drag sideways you see how my cursor is changing anytime i want to do this so ensure that your cursor changes to that shape all right so if i like i can add a circular shape okay to make this look kind of more organized so let's go to elements okay shapes i'll click here then now we'll click on this it's added so i can drag it up a little then make it round myself yeah okay so here i have this shape here i can extend it but i think is better we we work with frame so as it's selected let me delete it okay backspace is gone then let me go and look for frame i think we have a tab here called frames okay click here then we pick a frame that we feel we fit this okay let's go with this so take your cursor there then press and hold on the left button of your mouse press and hold there don't release the pressure then drag it to this photo okay then you can extend all right so then click out then click on this picture and place it inside this frame you can see how i moved my cursor is going to be placed inside this frame you can see the change right now okay and good we have a better design okay i can click out can click on it and reposition it okay all right, so we are done with the image section. Now let's talk about Thanksgiving celebration. You can double click here and assign a date of your choice. Okay, so let's say this is going to happen on the um, 6 16. All right, or let's say on the 21st of November. Okay, we type the date here on sunday okay so you can come down here change this address here the website remove it by clicking on it and pressing the backspace key of your computer keyboard then double click on this and then change this address okay so my own is street lane city okay so click out so we are done with this design at this point if you like you can change the background color but i'm okay with what i have here for you to change the background color click on it for you to be selected and then come back here and change the background but i'm okay so let's now save but before then let's give it a title so click here and type a title of your choice so i call this flyer so click out click on download all and click on 
download. I can see it is downloaded flyer.jpg. Okay, so if we get to our PC file explorer, we can open it, download, then double click, and it shows up. It's a beautiful design. So, this is how you can do it. Okay, so from this guide, I just walked you through on how to create YouTube thumbnail, flyer, and Instagram poster all right it's that simple i hope you find this guide helpful please if this guide helps can you subscribe to my channel so that you get some tutorials on how to complete some tasks in the field of technology we cover mostly technology on this channel so learn as much as you can because many things in our world of today revolve around technology okay Hit the like button for this video to go viral and leave a comment. You can also share it with your friends to learn on how to edit video using CapCut. Watch this video. Thank you and see you next time.